suffered in this world is short men. Short people, we have suffered. Now imagine if there wasn't this platform. Some people are still fidgeting to see me. We have been stigmatized. They have called us all kinds of things. Short put, I can't see you. What are you up to? Briefcase, full stop. Shortcoming. Height defaulter. Hee hee. Eh? You forget that we are down to earth. We are, by the way. Oh, yeah. It's very important. In fact, I would like to encourage all the short women my heights met. Don't worry. Most men love short women. Because they love women who look up to them. It's, we have very many advantages, not only that. First of all, we are weather friendly. Yes, rain hits us last. We can manage any crisis. I remember when we had the financial crisis. You remember when there was a serious global financial crisis? They told people we were suffering with clothes. They didn't know what to wear. Others were even cutting the curtains to go to the tailors. While that was happening, us were going to the baby's section. We are covered. I realized that actually we are the same, but yet we speak differently. I could know that this one is an engineer, this one is a, an accountant, from the way you speak. Because you speak according to your terminologies. I'll give you a quick example. Let's say a person came and took this mic away from me. A lawyer will say that's unlawful. A teacher will say that's indiscipline. An accountant will say that's unaccountable. A policeman will say that's being idle and disorderly. A housewife will say those are bad manners. But at the end of the day, what they're trying to say is what you have done is wrong. Not so. Same thing, different way. Now, I do believe some of you work in NGOs. I work with an NGO. And I realize that NGOs, they speak in forms of abbreviations and acronyms. Everything is abbreviated. Not so, just even the, the NGO itself. NGO, ILO, UNICEF, UHU, PCA. Who, even NGO, it sounds like nothing going on. You know? One time I was a victim of these acronyms. I met a very beautiful girl in a workshop. She was so beautiful, phantom, glorious, jubilistic, vroom lad with love. I said today I'm launching my manifesto.